chat gpt is right at the hot topic in the field of artificial intelligence so using chat gpt you can also generate some random taxes you can join the source code of python java c++ flutter dot any kind of programming language you can generate the source code for that so now in this one you are going to generate some code in order to build one web browser in flutter so let's see how can we do that so in chat gpt you can see here this is one text box you can also say that this is one prompt or you can say the terminal and in this one you just need to type your some command and you need to click here the send button or you can use your enter button from the keyboard so i'm going to build here one simple web browser using flutter and also you can use here chat gpt this prompt so let's say source code for building flutter web browser and i'm going to enter from the keyboard so here's the source code for the flutter web browsers so how can you build one web browser using flutter this is your own web browsers so we are going to test all the code in our vs code we are going to also see it in our real phone real time devices in our android phone how can we actually use this one and generate one web browsers like google so it will generate the code randomly that's really cool you can generate the code for python or c++ or java even the you can also design the website using this uh, prompt well so it will actually generate the code for me that's really good so now i am trying to copy the code and i already create one uh, empty uh, flutter file that's in flutter projects in my bs code so let's go on here and pass it out and test it out in our real time devices so i already create here one new flutter project so now what i'm going to do here i am just going to select all the text all the source code from here and going to delete it and now i'm going to pass here the new code that i copied from the chat gpt terminal so now what I can do, I am just going to resolve this problem, this kind of error. So click here and you can see here one ball button. Just click here and import the library.async. And also make this key should be nullable. Okay. And also let's make this title should be required. And also let's change this uh, URL because you're going to be build one web browser. So that's why I need to give here the uh, URL. So you are going to use here www.google.com. So let's say www.google.com. So now what I'm going to do here, we are going to run this code in real time devices. Let's mean one Android smartphone. So I am going to connect my own smartphone. So let's connect the wire and make sure that your USB debugging should be on in your Android phone. And you can see here my Android phone is right now connected. Just to wait. It's right now showing the windows. Okay, done. You can see here Android. So now what I'm going to do here, I am just going to run the code. Just click on this run button and run without debugging. So now it will actually run in the Gradle tags and it will install the application on my mobile phone. So let's see. So you can see here on the screen, you can see how this is my mobile phone and it will actually installing the applications on my real time devices. So you can see installing and building the app just a few minutes it will actually load the application on my mobile phone see okay come on come on yep you can see here google right you can search anything here so let's say search knowledge doctor okay let's say knowledge doctor and you can search here okay you can see here knowledge doctor youtube channel here okay so you can search anything uh, so you can see how easily you can actually build our own web browsers you can also remove this app bar so for that what you need to do so just you need to actually remove this app bar so you can also just comment out these lines and what you need to do you need to just uh, use here the control and the backslash and also you need to click here and to reload the applications and your app bar should be gone i hope yep you can see here your app bar is gone but it is gone to the safe area you can actually add here one safe area 
So, so now you can see here it will gone uh, to the safe area. So what I can do, we can actually wrap this scaffold with one uh, safe area so that your notification bar is not going to here your applications. So wrap one widget using the safe area. So let's say safe area, this one, and going to save it. And you can see here right now it's okay, fine. So this is how you can actually build one web browsers, your own web browsers using the Flutter. And you don't need to write any much, much more amount of code. You just use here the chat GPT. So that's it for today now. Hope you enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe to the channel and also share with your friends. Thank you and bye-bye.